Hi guys, welcome to this ninth tutorial in this series of programming PIC microcontrollers with MPLAB XC8 compiler. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to use a keypad with a PIC microcontroller. Keypad a small keyboard that are used to enter numeric, alphanumeric or select configuration data to microcontroller system. Keypads are available in a variety of sizes. The common sizes are a 3 by 3 keypad, a keypad which has got 3 rows and 3 columns, a 4 by 3 keypad like this one, which has got 4 rows and 3 columns, and a 4 by 4 keypad. Keypads are widely used input devices with lots of application in our everyday life. Devices like a telephone, ATM, electronic clock, Calculators, timers, just to name a few, all have some sort of keypad. A matrix keypad is basically a combination of push buttons in a way to form rows and columns. In this way, the number of input-output pins necessary for their connection to the PIC microcontroller is reduced. A 4x3 keypad only requires 7 input-output pins, 4 for rows and 3 for columns instead of 12 and the 4x4 keypad it's gonna require only 8 pins 4 rows and 4 columns instead of 16 if individual key were to be connected directly to the peak microcontroller in a matrix keypad switches are connected in a special manner as shown in this figure here the value of each key could be mapped according to one specific project application. For example, in this figure, the value of each key represents numerical values from 0 to 9, the star key and the hash key. Any representation could be used depending on your specific application. You could, for example, if you are using a 4x4 keypad, use a combination of digit with star, hash keys and alphabetical letters in this figure here, it represents a calculator. You could use numerical digit, a plus, a minus, a multiplication, a division sign, the enter and the clear sign. So basically it depends on your individual application need. Let's go to our circuit and see how we can connect a 4x3 keypad to a peak microcontroller. In this simple example, we're gonna use a 4, a 4x3 keypad connected to port B of PIC 182580 microcontroller. You could use your keypad to any pin, to any port. You could connect it to port C, port A, depending on your each individual need. In this example, we're going to connect it to port B. We're going to create a simple project to display the keys pressed on the keypad to a seven-segment display. The first key pressed on this keypad will be displayed on the 7 segment display. Assuming that the keypad is connected to port B, as in this example, the steps to determine which key that is pressed are as follows. The rows of our keypad will be used as output pins and the columns will be used as input pins. So the first step, we're gonna send a logic one to the first row via RB0 then we're gonna start reading our output. If RB4 is 1, then basically it means that 1 was pressed. Because this individual switch will be closed, then I'm gonna have a logical 1 at RB4. But if RB5 is 1, then it basically means switch 2 was pressed. And lastly, if my RB6 is 1, then it basically means the digit 3 was pressed. The second step is to apply a logic 1 to my second row, then start scanning all my columns as before. If I received a 1 on RB4, then it basically means the digit 4 is pressed. If I receive a 1 on RB5, it means it's 5. Then if I received a 1 on RB6, it basically means the digit 6 is pressed. This procedure is repeated for all the rows continuously to determine the key that is pressed. Let us create an MPLAB project 
to read the keypad for this, the first key that was pressed and displayed it on a seven segment display. Start a new project. It's gonna be a standalone project. Select the device that you're gonna use. In this example, we're gonna use the PIC 18F, PIC 8, 18F, 25, 80. Next, PIC 3. I'm gonna use XC8 compiler. Next, I'm gonna name my project Keypad XC8. I'm gonna save my project on the desktop. Browse, create a new folder, I'm gonna name it Keypad XC8. Open and finish. The first thing to do, as we have learned from the previous tutorials, is to set my configuration bit. To do this, I'm gonna create a new C file. Right click, new, C source file. I'm gonna name it config, finish. Windows, pick memory view, configuration bit. As you have seen on our circuit diagram, the MCLR pin is not gonna be used. And I'm gonna use an internal oscillator. The first thing I'm gonna select, use internal oscillator. Watchdog timer, I'm gonna disable it. Pin port B, pin 4, it's gonna be configured as digital input output on reset. And MCLR pin, it's gonna be disabled. The rest of the configurations, I'm, I can leave them on their default values. Click generate SOX file. Copy the configuration bit. Control C, Control V. Uh, the last thing is to, sell, to set my oscillator frequency. To do this, I'm gonna say define X tall freq 8 MHz. The second thing is to create our C main file. To do this, new right click new C main file. I'm gonna name it main and finish. Just gonna pause this recording and copy the code. Then we're gonna start explaining. The first thing we did is to include our configuration bit, the config.c file that we used to set our configuration bit. Then we define the pins that we're gonna be that we're gonna use to connect our keypad. In this example. Our keypad is connected to port B. So I said define row one port to the first digit of port B, which is B0. The second row is gonna be B1. The third row is gonna be B2. The fourth row is gonna be B3. This will be output pin. That's why we are using the, the LED register. The first colon is gonna be bit four. We are using the, the port register because our colons will be used as input pins. Our second colon is going to be connected to B5. And our third colon is going to be connected to B6. If you are using a 4x4 keypad, then you could use B7 as well. The next thing we created, the 7 segment map array, which is a constant that is going to represent the values of each key that will be displayed on the 7 segment display. As we have learned in the 7 segment display, the easiest way to display a digit to the 7 segment is to use an array with the representation values of each digit. If the index 0 of this array is selected, then 3F is going to be sent to the 7 segment display, which represents the digit 0. The next one, the digit 1, 3, 4, and so on up to the digit 9. Then we created a constant Keypad matrix, the representation of our keypad, the first digit, the second, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then star, then zero, then hash. This variable is going to be used to read when you are scanning our keypad. We created some function, keyboard initialize, to initialize our keypad. This is the function. We set our port B. The first four nibbles as output and the second the and the second four as input. Our port A is set as an output because we're gonna we're gonna connect our keypad on port A. We initialize our port B. The second function keyboard get C. This is the function that is gonna be used to scan and return the first key that is found to be pressed during the, the keypad scan. It's a very simple function. It scans the first row, 
and see if there is anything that is gonna be on the output scan the second row scan the third row and scan the fourth row a one millisecond delay is used between each scan time to counter the effect on switch bouncing the last function used is display seven segment this function receives the scan the scan key and displays it on the seven segment display if the star key if the star key is pressed then the letter a will be displayed on the seven segment display and if the h key is pressed then the digit h will be displayed on the seven segment display else the rest of the digit of the keypad will be displayed on the seven segment display so that's all guys the most important function is the keypad is a keyboard get c function which return the first key that is found to be pressed during the scan the rest is really straightforward you could pause this recording if you want to understand more about this function everything is really straightforward let us build our project it's building build successful let's go to our circuit diagram right click select set our X file we saved our project on the desktop keypad keypad xc8.x open click ok run the initial value is zero then if I set I, I press the, the digit one is gonna be displayed on a seven segment display digit 5 digit 0 h is gonna display the letter h star is gonna display the letter a 7 3 6 and so on thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel to receive more tutorials thank you